Hello, how are you? We're back. Okay, today we're going to see, we're going to review the whole unit we have seen and we are going to start with a new thing that is a little bit more challenging, okay? Is the division of the powers of state, the three powers of state. But we're going to start with the review, as you know, our unit, we are citizens, okay? And we are citizens, we live in a democracy since 1978, okay, when the constitution was approved by the citizens of Spain, okay. Uh, this constitution marks the several things, among them the form of government that is a parliamentary monarchy. That means that we've got um, the head of state, that is the king, and we've got the president of the government and uh, it establishes basic values like liberty, justice and equality for all the citizens in Spain, okay? And the basic symbols, as you know, the flag, the coat of arms and the national anthem. And what is democracy? You know, democracy is formed by two words from the ancient Greek, uh, demos and uh, kratos. Kratos means power and demons means uh, people, citizens. So is the, that the power uh, is for the people. We, the citizens, are um, have the right to choose our um, government. Okay, that's what democracy means. Uh, here, if you remember, I explained you a little bit the different parts of the Spanish coat of arms that was for me very interesting, maybe it's not very important for this, uh, for this unit, but it's quite interesting. Remember Castilla, Leon, Aragon, Navarra, the Kingdom of Granada here, very interesting for me at least. Okay, and after that we saw this division of uh, territorial division in Spain. Spain is divided, I, I do I did this analogy with the um, Russian Matryoshka dolls, okay? Like the small uh, doll would be the municipalities, the cities, towns, and little villages. And this little, um, little Matryoshka doll goes inside the provinces, that uh, provinces are formed by municipalities, and then the biggest Matryoshka doll that is the autonomous communities, okay? That are made up for one, from, uh, of one or more provinces, okay? And we also, we don't have to, to forget there are two autonomous cities in the north of Africa, Ceuta and Melilla, okay? They are very important as well. And apart from that, oh, here you could see the wrap of the autonomo, Comunidades Autónomas, and Canción de las Provincias, that was very interesting for you to learn about provinces and autonomous communities. I hope you all know them all. And now, here it is. The power of the state is divided into three branches, okay? One power, three branches. The first branch of this power of state is the judicial power. The judicial power, power is controlled by the General Council of Justice, okay? And then we have as well the Courts of Justice, the Courts of Justice, the Juzgados, where the judges work, okay? And the second one of the three branches is the executive power. The executive power is composed by the President and the Ministers. They are elected by the Congress okay and they're controlled by the congress as well okay and they are in charge of running the state and the third of the branches is the legislative power this is maybe the most complex okay because this uh, they are called the general court and they are formed by two chambers the senate and the congress of the deputies okay um they are chosen by the citizens uh, once it's four years, we vote to uh, select, to choose our representative here in the Congress and the Senate, okay? We are going to see here the there are 
350 deputies in the Congress and 265 senators. Here we, we can see all these colors in the Congress of the Deputies and in the Senate. Those, uh, each color many, uh, means uh, one different uh, political party, okay? And the, they are distributed according to the votes of the general elections, okay? We can find both places in Madrid. You know the Congress of the Deputies because we have visited it in our last visit to Madrid. Um, you can, you remember these two lions on the main gate and everything? Yes, that was the Congress, okay? And finally, very important, Spain, as we, we said before, is a parliamentary monarchy. That means that we, apart from the government, we've got a king that is the head of state. In Spain, the monarchy is hereditary. That means that the king uh, inherits the posi his, uh, his position from his father. In this case, our king is Felipe VI. Okay? And finally, in the base, the basic part of our system, we are the basic part of our, our system, the citizens, okay? We vote for the deputies and senator, uh, senators, okay? Important, once it's four years, normally, Citizens older than 18 can vote in general elections, okay? We choose all our government and we control them by giving them our votes if they did it okay. Another time, it's four years, okay? That's all. And what is important for you to know? Uh, in the um, description, you can find the link to this generally, if you want to check it, if you want to review it, it's great. And very important, when you check the generally, you're going to find here in the left corner below, we're going to find this homework. So check it, you need to do it, and you need to send it to me, okay? Important. So that's it. Uh, that was all. I hope it has been very easy for you, and if you've got problems or you don't know something just let me know okay so see you see you soon i hope to see you soon at school if it's not possible we're going to see here again in a new video okay so see you see you bye bye miss you all bye